Pen running here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day in this video. I'm it's just a simple video. I need to change uh, I think I need to change the micro SD card on my original helium hotspot. And I've been having issues, I think everyone has been having issues regarding on the helium network, and everyone has been expressing that they have been getting less and less rewards. So ultimately, I don't think me changing out my micro SD card is going to do anything. I don't know if my Helium hotspot has a uh, 32 gig or 64, but I have a 128 gig brand new micro SD card with the latest Helium firmware on here. I already placed it on this uh, micro SD, so all I need to do is take this thing apart and just swap out the micro SD cards. That's it, and then we're gonna turn it on. Throughout this video, I'm just gonna express just some thoughts and just some stuff that I've been reading regarding the Helium network more recently. I know a lot of you guys know, for those that are watching this, I'm a GPU miner at heart, and I do a lot of GPU mining content. I rarely, rarely do videos on my Helium miners, and uh, just to be transparent, I only have two Helium hotspots. I have this original Helium hotspot and I have a Rack V2 uh, from Calchip Connect. All right, so those are the only two that I have. And right now, I have not been earning much. My Rack V2 has been getting about, uh, I would say less than a dollar a day in terms of HNT. And this one here, I it was getting like maybe 13 or 20 cents a day or something. So I was like, hmm, maybe I will change out the micro SD card. I, I don't I have no idea if that's gonna work or not, but I'm gonna find out and I'll update you guys in another video. Oh, just to let you know, I did do the same thing, change the micro SD card on my Rack V2, and I did notice an uptick in terms of the HNT rewards. But more recently, the HNT network, the Helium network has been I would say having issues and there has been a lot of people expressing that they've been getting less and less rewards right whether it's because maybe the transmit signal is bad uh, there or you know there's just simply hundreds of thousands hundreds of thousands of these HNT miners now on the network as of recording this video I am reading off the helium Explorer. there is 639,640 helium hotspots on the network that is crazy and the past 30 days 74,000 hotspots have come online the network so I was actually reading a Coindesk article recently and they said that there was a company named Parlay Labs I believe they're just a uh, HNT hotspot reseller and there is a lawsuit against them because they're they didn't deliver their helium hotspots and I guess that's definitely a common thing because I still hear people this to this day still waiting for their helium hotspot and it just has not arrived or a lot of people have gotten refunds which is great like these companies a lot of resellers open up the ability to get a refund so that's all well and good but you know it just sucks that a lot of people are wanting to get one of these uh, to, to get HNT and a lot of people can't. All right, so by the way guys, I took out the four screws on this Helium Original and I think, yeah, this is the micro SD card right here. I'm just gonna take pliers and uh, take this guy out. And this is a 64 gigabyte. Oh, this is a nice, this is a nice micro SD card. This is a 64 gig SanDisk Extreme. So I believe the HNT blockchain is a little bit less than 32 gigabytes right now so I think this 64 gig is probably fine I think it's because I have maybe an old firmware version so I did download it already I already used uh, Belina Etcher on this uh, 128 gigabyte uh, micro SD so you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it in this micro SD card may not be better than this one actually because this is a SanDisk Ultra, and then this one is a SanDisk Extreme. So I think the Helium Original Hotspot has a better SD card, but it's 64 gig. Anyway, I'm gonna put the 128 gig in and see what happens, I'm sure it's fine. Anyways, guys, anyways, that Coindesk article also mentioned that, you know, along with Parlay Labs being sued, that there was a Helium representative that said there are about, I think, three to four million HNT hotspots on back order. Three to four million hotspots on back order. That is insane. 
That is just insane to me. Imagine if another three or four million of these HNT hotspots came online the network, what would that do to the rewards? Didn't, wouldn't that theoretically mean that we would all be getting less and less HNT? But, of course, the fundamental aspect of supporting the blockchain, supporting Helium as the network, you know, utilizing the LoRaWAN, uh, these wire wireless, you know, devices for uh, communicating or transmitting on whatever that was that's going to transmit throughout the Helium network. That's all well and good, but majority of the people that are buying these are obviously looking to make money. Right. And so people that have been waiting for these for about a year now, as you know, the videos that came out a year, a year ago, claiming that, oh, man, you're making like a thousand dollars a day, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars a day on a helium hotspot. You know, look at it now. Uh, how, how much are you making now? Right. People don't have their hotspots. And just to give you just being, being transparent, I'm making like 20 cents. I told you I was making 20 cents on this guy here. It's it's horrible now. Right. It, of course, location does matter. OK, don't get me wrong. Uh, depending on if you are using a I'd say like an antenna, external antenna, right? Different DB level antenna. I've seen a lot of videos about that location of where you are, how many witnesses there are, uh, how many are in your, I guess, hexagon. Uh, like looking at the helium app now you can see like the different hexagons and like how many numbers are in within your square or something uh, anyway I, I don't know much about it that's just something I, I i was reading about that if you have a lot of people within your like hexagon then it's gonna you're essentially going to be getting less because you're essentially sharing the hnt uh within that square hexagon whatever so that sucks right and at right now, if there's 640,000 of these hotspots on the network, how will the profitability be as more and more of these come online the network, right? Of course, depending on the price, right? That's obviously the biggest thing a lot of people will have to speculate on as anything with mining and crypto in general is the speculated aspect of the price of helium. Is price of helium going to be able to handle the amount of HNT hotspots on the network and so to be able to handle the spread of the HNT of rewards that are going to be spread across all the hotspots around the world, the, the dollar value, it has to be lucrative for a lot of people to essentially not complain regarding the profitability being down, right? It's the same, the same idea goes with mining, with GPU mining or ASIC mining. As the price of crypto goes down and if the network hash rate or difficulty is extremely high, then the profitability is going to be extremely low and people are going to complain like, oh, I just wasted $20,000 buying this, this ASIC miner or GPU, whatever, anything that mines in crypto, you know, the prices of crypto are so volatile and it's so predicated on the price and the difficulty of these networks. And so it's just helium, I, I guess was set up for failure because helium had such a huge, I would say marketing campaign. In, in a sense, as YouTubers, such as myself, I got one of these pretty much after, I would say, middle of uh, April or May, right? And after that, Helium blew up, right? There's been a lot of, there was a lot of YouTube videos of people making $4,000 a day, $2,000 a day, $500 a day, or whatever, a month or something. But I remember when I first made my Helium original video, there was only about 20,000 of these Helium hotspots on the network. And now, right, a year later, or less than a year later, there's 640,000 of these online in the network. That is just crazy, right? So for those that are, I don't know, just my opinion of those getting into HNT mining or wanting to get these hotspots, it's, it's really gonna depend where you live, like the location and how many other hotspots are in your area. And uh, also the price of helium, like if you believe helium is gonna go up in the future, like that, that's like another thing, right? You have to speculate on that. And yeah, I'm sorry if I'm, for those that are really into helium, I'm sorry if I'm like, I'm sounding negative about regarding the HNT network. And to be honest, I have good reason to because I get complaints like probably a couple times a week regarding people that have ordered these and they still haven't gotten them. And the number one excuse of all of these companies, resellers, distributors, whatever, of these HNT hotspots is because of the supply chain issues, uh, the pandemic, you know, all these same excuses that are used amongst all the other companies regarding uh, silicon, microchip, you know, all those types of things. And, you know, I'm going to say that's definitely true. 
but it's also definitely because of the demand, right? If that Coindesk article mentioned that there's still 3.5 to 4 million of these hotspots on back order, that just goes to show how much reach that the Helium network had and it's set up for failure in that aspect in terms of people complaining regarding the profitability of these things going down and down and down and there's now recently there's been some helium network outages or problems or issues and it's just essentially snowballing as more and more of these are coming online the network or actually i heard about another thing regarding offline and there's an issue with regarding removing them off of the Helium Explorer and that affects the people that have them online in those areas that have the offline ones and are getting less and less uh, HNT. So anyways guys, I, I you know what, I forgot to plug this in. Let me just make sure this turns on. I'm sorry, sorry if I'm ranting. I just, it, it's, it's, it's a constant, it's just, it's just a constant negative, I would say negative stigma mentality, I don't know what the word is, regarding Helium. And because of the fact that millions of people have ordered this, there's just that, that vocal, I guess, majority that still haven't gotten their Helium hotspot or are trying to get one. And uh, there's another company recently uh, minted, uh, MNTD, you know, the gold rack V2, rack hotspots and the black ones. A lot of people are trying to get those too and uh, they're trying to do their best to thwart like people that are gonna be scalping them and bots or whatever, buying them up. And so they, they just recently did, I'm not sponsored by them, by the way, nothing. MNTD did reach out to me, but I never, I never went ahead with it. They didn't send me a gold hotspot or anything like that. I was wanting one, but ultimately I said to myself, you know what, forget it. There's just, there's still so many people complaining about, sorry, expressing, not complaining, but ex it's not their fault. I'm gonna say the people that pre-ordered these it's not their fault, okay? It's the companies even disclaimered the time frame of when they would ship them out and ultimately didn't deliver. So that's why there's a company like Parlay Labs regarding the fact that they just didn't deliver, right? And I'm, sh I'm sure there's a bunch of other companies out there uh, that, that didn't deliver and are, they have a lawsuit on their hands. And so that sucks, right? This is just something, I, I just hate it. I hate this type of press regarding anything in crypto, even in something that regards with crypto hardware. And just the fact that millions of people have gotten into it, or are wanting to get into it, can't participate because just nobody has been able to get their hands on one of these, which really sucks. Anyways, guys, enough of that. I will have another, I don't know, if I, I'm probably not gonna update you guys on this. Uh, it's probably gonna connect and I'm probably gonna make maybe another, maybe it's gonna go up in 10 cents, maybe less. Who knows, doesn't matter. This might be my last Helium video for the year. Let me know your thoughts of my rant, of my thoughts, opinions, and uh, if there's anything else I missed regarding the Helium hotspots, just any other concerns or whatever, let me know down below. I like to read what everyone has to say regarding Helium. Got yours or not, yet or not. Let me know which company, let me know why or why not, or if I'm wrong on anything that I said, let me know down below. But ultimately, if you believe in helium in the long term, then so be it. All right, see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, and peace out.